Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me, not this file because I've already finished it, but what they did, they took a perfect square, put it in the center of the page, which helps them. They control D and they rotated it 10 degrees. And then they control D until they got it all the way around. So basically that you got four points, so you only have to go 90 degrees. But they wanted to know how they could fill in these squares with the Smart Fill tool without having to fill in each individual one. And this is very easily done. Let's zoom in here, and I'm going to do it just like I did for them. Take the Smart Fill tool and fill in these four spots. Now, to make it easier, I would take these four, and you're only selecting those four because you're not in, you're selecting the whole triangle. In this case, I'd go and go and combine them. Control D and make a duplicate of that combine. Move your rotation to the center, and this is where center of the page helps you. Now you rotate everything else 10 degrees, so rotate this 10 degrees. And, and those numbers, well, I, I had a little glitch in my system. Since those, well, have a little bit of problem. That's at 40 degrees. Control D. My laptop's just slow sometimes can't keep up and you just keep I'm just hitting control D I'm going a little slow so my laptop can keep up you are asking Corel to do quite a bit and then take away the hairline with right click and you've got that colored in pretty quickly that's a pretty cool design you could do a lot with it almost looks like it's going down into a basket if you did some more uh, well let's just do that let's put this one in the center of the page grab it all hit p and put it they're not connected so you have to group it they're not grouped put it in the center of the page same thing here we need to group them select everything control g and then hit it in the center of the page now we can, that's what nice is work about center of the page. We need to make it a little bit smaller. You can still hit page, center of the page. And it's not as cool as I thought it was going to be because the D started getting smaller and then you start back with bigger ones. But you see the pattern there. Anyway, so that's using the Smart Fill tool just one time and then duplicating it around. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.